Hi all, this is a message for the collective. This is a message for everyone. Um, and then I'll, I'll break it into individual signs. Um, and then we'll try to timestamp as best as possible, okay? So just an, an overall message for the collective. This is the seventh month in the year. So we're, we're trying to maintain control or regain control in our life in some aspect we're trying to marry a situation to the to where we can push forward and, and move past this has been a journey for some of us but it's about staying on, on the right course for self and self-care the chariot carries one that's the seven card. It's the seventh month. So this is definitely a month where you will be evaluating the systems in place for you. What are you doing to better you in every aspect? Let's see. What is the collective message? of the deck the queen of pentacles so we have a situation where someone is definitely concerned about the tangible it could be the intangible of life but things that are foundational health wealth and and happiness definitely health this is your physical health your mental emotional health the queen of pentacles is concerned about what she eats what she doesn't eat her body what she takes in nutrition how she looks luxury the home the child or children she is normally the working mom now if you're a man then you may be taking on the queen of pentacles energy also everything that i just uh gave example of the queen of pentacles is grounded too she likes she doesn't like to be too foo foo up in the air and n too much too many pipe dreams or or, or um, outlandish um, ideas. Um, not to say as if she's not a dreamer or she can trample or will trample on dreams of others or her own, but there has to be a level of groundedness in every idea with the queen of pentacles she's definitely concerned about money she she holds the pentacle the queens are about the doing of their sign uh and in the, the the cultivating so she's still at a place of um, trying to get to that king status where there's no real active movement in, in in the then in the interim or the the realm of trying to get money the chase and the hunt and the grinding and the three jobs and the you know none of that with the king of pentacles but with the queen she could be very concerned about you know the financial all right king of pentacles all right so we may be talking about someone moving up or um we could be talking about a marriage or a long-standing relationship three of cups okay the moon all right and judgment so some of you are in connection it could be a marriage it could be um a long-standing relationship Some of you, this is a question whether to reconcile, to continue to continue to create with a particular person, place, or thing. Could, do I continue to put energy, effort, time, emotion behind 
this situation. Some of you, your um, your thinking, your thought pattern has changed in regard to a particular person. You feel as if somebody is holding something back from you. Or you could be holding something back from someone else. There's an associated risk level, a risk involved with dealing with someone. There may be someone who is a partner, married. And now you have to ask your question, yourself your, the question and be very definite in asking it. Do I want to deal with someone who's already partnered, who, who's already made commitment or obligation? For some of you, it's going to be, do I want to continue with my partner? Do I want to continue creating, like, you know, our life together? The There's some... There's some challenge here in your relationship. And it's coming to a head and you're going to have to be definitive about what you're going to do. Are you staying? Are you going? The, the judgment card is about the past is the past. The present is here now. What are you doing now? This is a good opportunity for some of you to change something. Someone, some issue in your life. This is opportunity. This is opportunity to go into a new direction for some of you. Seven of Swords, yeah, with the Three of Cups. It's like uh, almost as if someone knows that in either a marriage or, or a committed relationship, some type of contractual agreement, whether it's, you know, an actual physical contract or it's a soul contract or it's just, you know, we made vow to each other verbally. Someone is being deceptive. Someone is, is um, they have control of the situation because they, they're able to take what they want from the connection and leave behind the actual connection. There might be someone who is um, cheating, you know, dating someone else while married. This is a particular relationship. This is how someone acts in relationship. They act deceptive. They act um, as if, you know, they're out for themselves. We got the temperance card. This is weight. Um, moderation here. Um, patience. It says that partnership you're looking for is coming to you. Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords. The Queen of Swords is, she wants the truth. She's de demanding it. She gives the truth. She takes opinion. Then she makes her own makes her own mind up. And for some of you, it may be that you may be ending. This is the ending of of a particular relationship. Yeah. Got Gemini here, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, all signs are here. So. Except for fire. Well, got Sagittarius. Some of you have to make a choice.
Wow, we definitely have to make a choice. Another six card. Some of you, you knew or you know that either whomever you're dealing with or who you, or it's you, um, they have two women. This is masculine energy. So some of you, my women out there, or my men, they know that there's someone given to two parties. This finding out, yeah, brings you to a place of wish fulfillment. Wow. All of a sudden. Hmm. Sudden drastic change. Somebody just makes a choice. Somebody's choosing someone else. Yeah. Wow. The, the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. Judgment again. This is opportunity for someone to come out of a situation that they know that um, they aren't the only person. They know that there's someone out for self. There's someone who could be um, sneaking away. There's someone who could be being deceptive, a cheater, a liar. There's someone else in your energy also that could be very good for you. It says that you, it may be a coming back together, but you're going to have to make the choice. And it might be all of a sudden that you get exactly what you want in a particular person place or thing but it's something else it's not where you are it's um some of you are resting in self delusion too with this moon you won't admit something to yourself that maybe a relationship is over that someone is a cheater a liar will not ever change because the three of cups or the threes talk about um how someone thinks and, and it's fundamental so it comes from you know an age of youth you know it comes from how they were fun fundamentally shaped so that may be that may take a while for somebody to come out of that and, and and see the light and see that they need to do some real work on themselves so i think some of you are resting in in, in self-delusion that this can work this this marriage this relationship can work we can work on it when it should be a complete rethinking plans need to be revised in regards to a marriage or a contract because somebody is not honest and you have something or someone who could, it says the, the, the past is you know the past is relinquishing itself and, and the present is here now what are you going to do this is a good opportunity for you to change something completely. It's a it's a blessing. The one that you wished, you hoped, you prayed for. Allow change to happen with that will of fortune. Um, allow um, an ending to happen with the ten of swords. It, it just can't get any worse, and it doesn't look as look as if it's getting any better. So let's go into the individual signs. Um, okay, for Aries. Let's see what's going on for Aries. What's the advice for Aries in regards to the Aries collective and what they're dealing with? What's the advice? The advice for okay, three cards. Four of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Evaluate where you are, Aries. Prince of Swords. Some of you may be um enduring um a career change a new job a career move it may have happened really quickly this is going to take you to another level partnering with um this organization um it, it'll, it'll bring you some money it'll bring you even some investments it'll bring you opportunity to have a, a storehouse savings four of cups under the deck because it, it you might have been discontent or bored with what you were doing. So this newness that comes in for you is um, 
putting you on a, a different path. The fours are about children and your roots. Some of you may be receiving some money from someone that you have children with also. Or something something's tied to children uh, and or the person you have the child with. Definitely a rebuilding and a restructuring. Trying to get back to a place of a feeling like you are abundant. You are abundant in yourself. Definitely in the in the arena of money. So this new move to whatever it may be, a career change, a job move, it looks really good for you. Because um, you were discontent and bored anyhow. If this is love, there's a particular relationship where the Aries may try to work on a marriage or some contractual agreement, and they may be giving this news to someone else that they were dating or that they had an affair with or someone who they were seeing consistently um, the Aries is kind of hesitant about working on the marriage because they were already over it but there's something about reconsidering and reconciling and rebuilding re with the three of pentacles Hopefully to get back to the Four of Pentacles. We're still married. We're still tied together. We still have roots. But we definitely need to rebuild and restructure and regain. Okay, Taurus. Let's see what's going on with my Taurus. Alright. What's going on with the Taurus Collector? What can you tell the Taurus? Ten of Wands. Some of you may be releasing something you carry. You just like can't carry this any longer. It could be a secret. Some of you could be moving. Some of you could be just. It might have been burdensome dealing with maybe a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Some of you could be moving. We could be moving. Um, let's see. And just trying to keep everything in control with the chariot here. This is a beneficial change. Um, good news coming in for you. Once you release, or or it's that you, right? You have been carrying something for so long. Now it's time for you to put yourself first. Some of you have been doing a lot of work in a connection, in a relationship. The Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, someone who's who feels jaded. Who feels as if they didn't get everything that they wanted in life. And they might even want you to give it to them. Someone who you have children with or, yeah maybe two children with not too far apart from each other some of you are at a place this is for my male tours some of you are partnered to a female gemini libra aquarius virgo woman or cancer um some of you are at a place of just some of you want to move home and if not move physically the home and some of you are at a place of wanting to release this this burden that is um, maybe your wife or a woman in your life someone that you have children with you're analyzing the the, the past the good times and you want it you want to go back there it's just 
it's a place of you're at that place of feeling like you may be doing all the work in the home maybe doing all the work on just about keeping the home and keeping things together you you may be saying like this other person there's no sense of usefulness with them they're they're useless you may be analyzing where you are with them it was good at one time but now it isn't or someone's doing this with you Taurus I feel like this is the Taurus and how they feel about someone else The Taurus feels like they just want to release and put themselves first and move forward for some of you. Um, and this is how someone is, is viewing you, Taurus. Hi, Gemini. So let's see what's going on with the Gemini Collective. What's going on for Gemini? What's going on for Gemini? All right, your cards don't want to come out, right? Okay, one more. All right. The Page of Pentacles, the Moon, Queen of Swords. All right, so... Gemini may, might be saying that I need to find stability elsewhere because in dealing with there's some challenge in a particular relationship that's going to rear its ugly head. Maybe because you, you, the Gemini feels like the other person that they like or love it, are just too different you guys are too different you want two different things or or you feel like there's secrets being held from you you feel like um there's a risk associated risk with you know in dealing with this person and taking them serious so and it may be a dynamic of somebody being younger and older Some of you feel like you can't get the truth out of something or someone. But you, you you feel like there is a connection here with the two of cups. You feel like like um, it's a mutual it could be a mutually beneficial relationship. Um so you feel like somebody else is materialistic. Um maybe they don't have the best habits when it comes to money or everyday habits. Something they do every day or every other day, it just bothers you. It causes conflict and, and division within a connection. This is how someone feels about you or you, them, Gemini. Um, they're, they're not, I'm hearing that they're not consistent. They're, cons they're consistently inconsistent. Um, there's always something. They may feel slighted or jaded in some fashion they may have a very strong tone with you or you with them gemini uh but you you still feel like there's a connection and there's love there you just feel like you're gonna get trampled i'm hearing your you your heart or whatever is gonna get trampled in dealing with this person So, so some of you are contemplating or sometimes some of you feel like you don't have enough to give or offer to this person there's a, there's a sense of self delusion here somebody's not admitting something to themselves so they're staying in a place of delusion that maybe you guys are just too different too, too different I don't know cancer all right 
what's going on for my cancer collectives i know you guys had, you guys had a really strong um mercury retrograde reading um, it was really about you know the eclipses for you guys something leaving your life don't be afraid of change of things leaving it could very well be good for you so anyway let's jump into it what's going on for my cancer collective Queen of Swords. Everybody's been getting the Queen of Swords. The, in, I'm using different decks. Ten of Cups, Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. Some of you may be at a place of... You, you've heard this person out. You've heard them out. You've heard what they had to say. But you feel like, look at the dynamic of that. The Ten of Swords and then the Ten of Cups. You feel like, you know, at one point you made me very happy. But right now, at this point, I'm just completely disgusted, disappointed, um, hurt, feeling backstabbed and betrayed. And I would just like to make the choice to move on. To take myself, my belongings, my things, my child, maybe even that, and just move on and make peace with the situation. Now, Cancer, you, someone is saying this to you or you're saying this to someone else. Um, there's some two tens here, so it's a lot of masculine energy. Maybe some of my, my cancers, Cancer men, they're saying this in regards to someone else they're dealing with or my cancer women you're saying this in regards to the man in your life um at one point you guys saw eye to eye was a happy family um or that was the long-term goal here was to have a happy family but you didn't make it there you made it to six of swords where there's a choice about this is no longer healthy this is systematically unhealthy. The sixes are about analyzing systems. Um, this is not good for me. This is not, there's no sense of usefulness here in my life for this. I, I, I'm going to deplete myself. I'm going to die trying with this person. And, it, and it'll definitely be a situation of trying, never really getting to the place of feeling 100% content, happy, satisfied, but always trying with a particular person. There's somebody who has a high sense of entitlement. There's someone who has a strong mouth. There's someone who, like, they, they say what they want to say. They do what they want to do. Um... They're concerned with. So the Queen of Swords can be edifying, or she could tear you down with her words. So, I think some of you know where you are with that. This dynamic. Um, it may be that you just say, "I'm done," and and um, and you're done. You're letting the cycle in here okay all right all right leo let's see what's going on for my leo people my leo collectives judgment coming right out the deck so the past is trying to release its hold on you the present is here it says what are you going to do now something is here for you to make a definitive decision about whatever it is is this a good opportunity to change something in your life or something about your lifestyle this is um an opportunity for you to be clear in judging a situation 
I know everyone says, you can't judge. You can't. Yes, you can. You judge every day. You go to the grocery store. You go to the fruit section. You pick up a piece of fruit. You say, oh, I don't like that. When you put that one back. You just judge the piece of fruit. You judge things every day. You judge righteously, though. You judge in the right, in the right manner, in the right mindset. Uh, so, you, you do have to judge. Uh, okay? So, there's an opportunity for you to be the judge in your own life. Queen, oh, wow, and the Queen of Wands comes out. Maybe in regards to, um, you know something too. Like you, 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 you can feel it. Um, you're highly inclined here in, in, in regards to whatever's going on. Um, let's see. You gotta be the judge about maybe um, entrepreneurship someone you're dealing with let's see wow the will you have to be the judge about allowing change to happen uh, a beneficial change is here but it's associated with luck keep in mind that you don't control luck luck is out of your control so things will come about to you not in the manner how you thought it was supposed to come to you so then sometimes it's where we get into a place of being dismissive we dismiss things because no i ask the universe that you know this person comes to my life like this and they have this and they have that and they do this and they say that and they uh, are they're this tall and they're uh, uh they have this color hair and blah 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 you go on and on and then when your luck changes and it shifts how the universe deems fit uh, you you don't see that this is the change that you need and that you actually prayed or manifest into your life the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck yeah um, this may be in regards to some marriage some contractual agreement relationships your interpersonal style talks about uh, there may be something that you might need to change within the dynamic within your marriage within your uh, your relationships uh, there's something ending something wants to come in there's life cycles you know uh, hopefully this is a good one but two good cards it says that you know um, you can have a really beneficial change here if you change something about your lifestyle I don't know if you're over in overindulging or or just really um your personality is coming up for some of you it can't be all about you it has to be the divide this is like narcissism i don't know why okay either you leo or somebody else you're dealing with it says um, allow the change a cycle something plans need to be revised also uh, there may be something you need to do more so in secret uh, don't show everybody your hand you know all right Hi Virgos, let's see what's going on for you. What's going on for my Virgo collective? All of my Virgos, what's going on? What can you give them? What advice can you give them, Lord God? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'll take it. Wow, two very nice cards. All right. Okay, three major. Arcana four bottom of the deck strength card. Wow, Virgo. Um, okay, so definitely about partnership here. It says that something needs to be done in moderation, whether that's um, drug and alcohol or whatever. 
There needs to be patience too here. There's a cultivation of something coming together. There may even be a situation where someone wants to rehash, restart, restore, uh, reignite. Uh, com it, but they come back in, a, in an air of compromise. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or you could have water in your chart. There's something... Someone wants to salvage what you guys have. Or, or this is you wanting to salvage what you have in regards to a particular someone. Uh, the Will of Fortune says that there, there is a culmination going, going on here. Um, there's change. Beneficial change here. There's um, something changing and it's associated with your luck. Your luck is changing for the better. Um, there may be a situation where you feel like you you lose something of value. Or something that you thought you valued at one time. At one point in life. It says that you need to be strong in regards to pushing something forward. Because this may be in regards to like merging. Merging life. Uh, shared resources, the other person's money, mystery, loans. And so it's just about um, there. You could really have a, a really wealthy partnership come in for you. Um, whatever you have been praying for or thinking of in, in terms of uh, something coming to fruition, it's here. Uh, It's, but you have to change something. You're losing to gain here. A new direction. A completely new direction here. And it may be in love. It could be in career and finance. Only you would know. It, this is change. That's out of your control too. All of these. Four major arcana. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with you, the Scorpios. The Nine of Clubs. Nice. You might have a secret admirer. You might have a new boyfriend, new girlfriend. There's somebody looking off in the shadows at you. There also may be a situation where you are separated from someone and you're looking back. Or you're looking at the situation and you are in contemplation about going back to seven of cups seven of hearts uh, in reverse some of you feel like a connection a marriage a contractual agreement is upside down some of you how you deal with things your personality relationships need it needs evaluation some of you were dealing with or you were the cheating spouse the person who made promises just to break them. But now it looks like you may be having some really good energy. Um, success in home. In business. So the some of you may be in partnership with someone who you also do business with you may be married to girlfriend boyfriend with someone you do business with some some of you are going to come out of an emotion of emotional confusion in regards to dealing with uh, someone who you are separated from yeah it's like the problems are have gone away maybe because you did deal with how you were or how you are in connection. Maybe you guys went to counseling. Um, you're still ready and willing to fight for whatever this is. There could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo looking in on you. They could be telling you that they've changed. They're different. They want success in the home and the marriage with you in the in the in business also. And they want to come out of having problems in in this either second marriage for you, second relationship. Well, it doesn't have to be. 
they want to come out of this they want things to to be right it looks like you both will try to do the work to make it right okay i completely skipped over my libras but here it is okay libra what's the collective message for libra Collective message for Libra. The bottom of the deck, the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, everyone's getting a Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Wow, Queen of Swords. Empress Libra. Nice. Whatever you have started or will start is just going to take you to a place of. Some of you could be bosses. You could be starting your own business. Um, or you could be in a place of just. Um, you could be over a lot of people. The, the Wheel of Fortune says that, um, you, once again, your luck has changed your destiny. There's a new direction. For, for some of you, you got in control of um, a situation that you did start to create, um, a business. But it says that things will change here for you. Good, beneficial change. Uh, do know that luck is out of our control. It doesn't look how you think it's going to look. You ask the creator for $20,000 a month. Um, you know, and, and you you get that in another manner. Or you don't get it at all. Or, or luck shifts. You ask the, the creator for $20,000 a month in your business. And then your business closes down. And, you, and then you get the opportunity to go and work for a company and you're making twenty thousand plus dollars a month so it says that luck is out of your control you know um what you ask for is here for you it says that some of you are determined to be successful you completed something here some cycle that is allowing you to now recreate again something new it, it, and it's it's dynamic. It's beautiful. Uh, some of you definitely concerned about the the coin and and the the restoration of of maybe even building back your money um, or getting your money back to a place of where you feel comfortable and content. This is really good, Libra. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see where you are. What can we say? What do we have for our Sagittarius? Okay, nice. Says some beneficial change in relationship or this new relationship or new friendship will bring you a lot of happiness and contentment. This is nice. Um, it's just positivity all around here with the sun. Wow, Nine of Cups. It's what you hope or wish for. Or it says make a wish. It could very well come true. You feel like you are without something or someone. Six of Swords. Um, seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. You feel like you, some of you want your family back. And someone moved away from you. Now you want them back. Someone made the choice to just leave. Um leave a marriage a connection a contractual agreement they just took what they could and they left because it was way too burdensome uh, they left the connection behind there's a lot of childish games being played uh, there's a it could have been a love affair just bad behavior altogether uh, drama so this person left and you're hoping and wishing and praying that they come back you may have someone new here too for those of you who have someone new this is what you wish for now you're at a place of peace you've made peace with whatever happened in the past you've made the choice to make peace um, you've analyzed 
some type of systematic thought pattern, thought thoughts that you have surrounding um, relationships and health and well-being. And, and some of you said, this is not healthy for me, so you decided to move on and move along uh, to a more peaceful state. Uh, some of you felt like you were in something that was just useless. There's no sense of usefulness here. It was useless. It was useless in trying. It was useless in putting energy, effort, time into it. It was just useless. Some of you are pregnant or you will have someone pregnant. You might have to give news to someone else that you, you already have a child with. Some of you are trying to do something you know, behind someone else's back. Either you or, or the next person. Okay. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you. The Capricorn Collective. All right, first card out. All right, third card. Okay. So we have the Three of Swords, the Emperor, Nine of Pentacles, Oof. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so it looks like. Some of you could be divorcing, separating, Capricorn, um, my male Capricorns. You want to be single. You want to pursue someone that is the Nine of Pentacles type of woman or man. Um, someone who is, at this point, not paying you a whole bunch of attention. I mean, they understand you're there, but they don't they're consumed with what they're doing they may even be a business owner or trying to start a business or they have a business idea that's making them absolutely restless crazy you're trying to um you're concerned about your own health wealth and happiness capricorn ace of wands you want to go after what you or you want to pursue your passions you want to grow something in a different direction but not before you can um uh, cause, cause you're divided right now. Your heart is divided for home. Then there's you, and then there's this other person who you want to either possibly get to, or, or at least get their attention. Um, you're thinking differently about a connection, about um, about how people will look at you. Also, your um, people in your social circle. Yeah. Mm. You 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 may be separated from this person, this nine of pentacles person. You uh this person could be very cultural, worldly, um a lot of class and sophistication here. Um down to earth uh, there's so much about them that attracts you to them. But you have to deal with something here uh, and, and maintain an element of uh, stability and control here. Uh, also, you have roots with someone else, children, home, all of those things with someone else. So you, you're going to have to divide those things, hence a divorce. All right, Capricorn. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for the Aquarius Collective. The Aquarius Collective. All right. Okay, that one wanted to pop out. Let's see. Aquarius, some of you dealing with somebody who you know you shouldn't be dealing with. I don't even think you're taking them serious. You're taking you serious, so. Keep in mind, I don't want to hurt anybody. All right, bottom of the deck, the sun. Nice, 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 nice. The overall energy is the sun. It says that some relationship, um, some friendship. This is kind of new relationship, new friendship, 
will bring you um, a lot of happiness and contentment. Uh, what you wished for is here. Some dream coming to fulfillment. Four of Cups, what I tell you? King of Cups. Ace of Cups. What you, whoever you're dealing with right now, you, you aren't taking them serious. It's discontentment and boredom. You deal with them out of boredom or vice versa. They deal with you out of boredom. But you, but there's something else being offered to you. I don't think you know it or you, you don't see it just yet. You're too busy being focused on things that just aren't going to get you to where you want to be. Whatever you've built with someone else, because it's the four, are, are about stability and foundations. You're discontent with it. You're dissatisfied. But you're still remaining in it. There's a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Libra man when in love. Um, who's here. Who's being very emotionally balanced. Like, you can't read them. There may be a deep feeling of um, love and friendship connection there you'll know that how they feel about you by by their actions but it says that some new connection will bring you a lot of happiness and contentment uh, the ace of cups talks about new friendship new love um, blessed by the heavens I think because this energy is overshadowing this you haven't really taken taken this serious um, Aquarius, it looks good. It just, you know, just need to get something or someone out of the way. Because I'm so biased to the Aquarius. Crap. I know we're going to hear it from the other signs. Let me see what the Four of Cups is. Yeah. Someone can't really offer you what you want. Uh, they may be younger than you. Um, less experienced. There's the inexperience there. Uh, you don't take this serious. Um, you may be being deceptive or maybe they are. Um, you may be running away from the connection too. Or, or somebody's running away from a connection. Someone tried to offer you something that you feel like, no, it should have been much more. Um, someone's trying to regain control by way of um, being sneaky. Four of Cups again. Wow. Whomever you're dealing with. They're being sneaky. You're being sneaky. There's a lot going on here in regards to the connection. Somebody's out to get what they can get from the connection. Uh, either you, Aquarius, or the other person. Um, they're, they're not concerned with furthering the connection. The both of you may be tired of this relationship and just kind of letting it, letting it play out or let it, letting it run its course. Okay, Aquarius. Okay, for my Pisces. Let's see what's going on. Alright, if my Pisces collective, what do you have to tell them, Lord? Thank you. you. Alright, first card, King of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or someone who's coming up in that manner. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, Cancer Man. Nine of Swords, Pisces. This person brings you a lot of anxiety. Um, King of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Emperor. So this could be like same-sex relationship. Or there's somebody... Both of you are coming up as kings. I wish there's oh there's a budding of the heads. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. You really like this person. 
they bring you a lot of anxiety you can't for you for the life of you figure out why it's not happening between the two of you why there is the void the separation why they don't view you as the option the only option what yeah they broke your heart or they're breaking your heart three of swords why is their heart divided when it comes to you why won't they have sex with you um what are they keeping from you you want them to choose you but they may want something traditional there's something being held back from you there's a lot of self delusion here either for them or for you Pisces uh, there's someone needing to go deep in, in regards to how they feel why do they want this and when they get it are they going to be content with it or be wanting something else you gotta really do some work here there's a lot of drama associated with this connection because someone doesn't love you or like you like you like them but then you may have someone around you who really likes you um, but you don't like them but you still give them the time of day there has to be a choice that needs to be made in regards to um, dealing with this person somebody's real stern someone wants really tight with money also you feel a drain and sometimes dealing with a particular person okay that's all i have for you pisces if you feel like you want to get a personal reading go over to the website book your reading there uh take advantage of the coupon code 10 off 35 that gets you 10 dollars off any reading 35 dollars or more thank you pisces um also get your your money candles uh, the green money candles come in handy burn it every night before you go to sleep say a simple prayer to see change happen in your life also we have the love candles and the romance candles the red candles the passion okay all right thank you take care guys bye